Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Clark with the Clark Esposito Law Firm. I'm here today with Deborah, one of our senior attorneys, to talk about when to come clean with U.S. Customs. And there's one particular way to do that, and that's known as a prior disclosure. So whether you're aware of some possible wrongdoing or you're just interested in getting more information about ways to come clean with U.S. Customs, uh, stay tuned and watch our video. Deborah, hi, how are you today? Hello, Deanna. Thank you for having me. So can you tell us what is a prior disclosure? If an importer discovers it has reported incorrect information on an entry, such as tariff classification, if its value calculation was wrong, you claim that you're eligible for a free trade agreement but weren't, then you as the importer have an opportunity to admit those errors to customs, usually without the assessment of penalty. The, there's a mechanism called prior disclosure, which includes very specific information that you're going to be telling customs about, including the entry dates, the ports of entry, a description of the violations, and this is very important, the any efforts to prevent future occurrences. That's going to be very critical to customs. The importer must pay any duties, taxes, and fees that it should have paid at the time of entry, plus any statutory interest. And that's even if there are no penalties assessed. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well, can a failure to file a prior disclosure lead to an audit by customs? Well, eventually. If customs is aware of a violation, even if it hasn't notified the importer or started a formal investigation, it may suspect that the importer has committed violations, in which case it may schedule the importer for a focused assessment audit in order to examine its records, policies, and procedures in an effort to uncover those additional errors and the basis for them. Ah, I see. So can a failure to file then lead to penalties from U.S. Customs? Yes. If Customs is aware of errors in an importer's entries, then failure to correct those errors can lead to penalties. The importer has several methods to use for correcting errors, but by statute, prior disclosure is the only one which will absolutely prevent the assessment of penalties if the cause of the error was negligence or gross negligence. If the cause of the error was fraud, then the potential penalty limit is much lower than if there was no prior disclosure. Oh boy. So what if an importer just doesn't file one? If customs becomes aware of violations, however discovered, be it by document review, audit, random examination, or any other method, there will be penalties unless a prior disclosure cites the particular violations for the particular entries involved. All right. Well, thank you, Deborah, so much for joining me and answering all of my questions today. You know, from what you've shared, there's a lot of twists and turns that can come with making disclosures to U.S. Customs. So a uh, very important topic that we covered today. Of course, anybody watching, if you are aware of some problems or you're not sure, you know, time is of the essence. So you want to be sure, go through your records, figure out, hey, do we have a problem that we need to disclose? The reason for this is because you don't know if Customs has already started an investigation but have yet to notify you about it, or if you could beat them to that point uh, and, you know, get ahead of it. Because understanding, you know, once they start the investigation, you no longer get that protection. So, of course, if you've got questions, you, know, you can always reach out to our law firm. We can be reached by telephone at 917-546-6997. You can also fill out our contact form at the bottom of our homepage at www.clarkespositolaw.com or send us an email at contact at clarkespositolaw.com. We're determined to help you. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. Check out our playlist if you want to see more of our videos, and comment below and introduce yourself. We'll see you soon.